Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is live coverage of the Eredivisie. It's Heracles Almelo against FC20. Thanks Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully we get a really good game here. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, the graphic tells you everything about his current form. Second in the table in terms of league goals, and he looks so threatening at the moment. He'll look to add to those numbers once again today. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're also playing in a 4-3-3 formation, but they play it in a slightly different way, particularly in the wide areas, where they full get forward and rotate with the wingers at every opportunity. And this confrontation is underway. Joshua Brennett. Here's Van Volswinkel. And that was a very fine read. Showing a lot of guile there. And he keeps going. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Bakish. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Now far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Michel Flap. No potential danger. Sadilek. Not a very good challenge, and he skips past his man. Tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Sadilek. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, the visitors very much dictating the tempo over the last 15 minutes or so and looked a real threat going forward. But they must take one of these chances while they're having this good period that you do sense it's coming. And given away.
and teammates to play it to. Not messing around with that clearance. And he did well to cut it out. A oh, terrific pass. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Now potential danger. Real chance. That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And over comes the corner. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Moving into the advanced position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. This might be ideal for the counter. There will be one minute added on at the end. Sadilek. It's with Dimitris Limnios. Excellent passing. Determined block. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he was one of the better players in the first half, but needed to be better still. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, he was slightly disappointed in that first half. He's had no real impact on the game. I just think he needs to work a bit harder to receive the ball. However, I'm sure he'll get better in the second 45. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Larison. Oh, a stylish ball. What can they do now? And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Sadilek. Michel Flap. Well, it looked as though they might be in just for a second or two. Well, the ball lost here. And a creative look about this. Cutting the ball back. And an astute piece of defending. Bilal Basha Chikolo. Patience enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Oh, disappointing, just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both.
Michel Flap. Limnios. Plenty of options. But nothing comes of it. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. And a substitution in the offing. Over it comes. Anas Wahim. Space and time for the cross. And you need your defender to take charge. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Brahma. Will it happen for them? Mastery of the passing game. Oh, surely! Oh, a goal! They strike first, and what a way to silence the crowd! Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Just 10 minutes to go. And take it away. Right on the cusp of full time, the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen? Well, they've certainly lacked a goal threat up to this point. There's been little invention, no real combination play around the box, and the crosses have been erratic. But there is still time to find that moment of inspiration. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Good movement. Could cross it in here. Shielding the ball superbly. Not the pass he had in mind. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And players waiting in the centre. This could be the equaliser. And it's come off the keeper. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is, they bounce back now, and they can't afford a repeat performance. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.